Hi everybody. I wanted to work on a small jelly plate today and show you how you can use it to work on large pieces. So I have a giant piece of paper and I'm using a small, I believe it's a five by seven jelly plate. I'm using some rubber bands to serve as a mask and I'm just doing a few prints around the, around the paper just to make sure that I get something, if I divide this up into four quadrants, there's some print on every page. You can see that there's different types of prints depending on if the mask rubber bands were still there versus the ghost print, which actually shows the rubber bands on the very far right and the very far left side. And just some other marks as the paint fades just to make sure that I get some other designs in there. I'm adding some paint. So some translucent paint, transparent paint. Just trying to warm it up a bit with some colors. Some yellows and golds. I'm applying the white with a brayer just so it's a very thin layer of white. The goal of having a thin white layer for this particular project, I wanted to do less is more. So I wanted a thin veil of white on top just so you can still see some detail and some color shining through, but to really quiet it down so there's not a ton of distraction, lower contrast than normal in my work and I'm adding some white here with the color shaper just to make it a little thicker, a little more opaque in some areas. And I'm using the color shaper there just to, to scrape some of the paint off to make some little windows. One reason I like using a smaller jelly plate, and I'm very new to having a smaller jelly plate, but I like that you can apply such unique, interesting prints just in certain areas of the paper. It doesn't take over your entire paper if you don't want it to. This is some acrylic ink, a violet color. I sprayed it with a little bit of water so it would run faster. I did dry it then with a hair dryer before I started adding other colors. Here I'm just adding a glaze of some golden colors and some dark yellows. Again, to warm up the piece a little bit so it's not just stark white. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. some pencil line for a little bit more detail. And now I'm cutting it up into four nine by 12 sections. I'm really happy how these turned out, especially this one. This still needs some extra calming down of colors and something else added. This one is so light and, and dainty to me. And even this one is very simple, but I really like how it turned out. Thanks for watching.